So now we're here over at Tool and Die Work. I'm here with Ricardo to talk about this really impressive piece of machining. So, how is this created and what tools were you using to do it? Yes, Guring is a complete supplier, so we use all tools what we have. Yes, from the backside we make everything what is about drilling for the temperature and also for the connection uh, with threads, for example, so we make also the threading. And of course we used our high feed cutters for make the rocking on the, on the upper side. For sure, we have also our HPC cutter to make the hole uh, outside. So this is just all the tools used for roughing. And now we're actually going to walk over and see this part finished. Now, this part looks amazing. These finishes are absolutely top class. <laughs> yes, so of course. what tools were you using to finish this part? Yes, for finishing we used usually a ball nose milling cutter. So we begin we begin with the diameter six, then the diameter four, then two, and then the diameter one. Our smallest tool what we produce today is diameter zero point two. Yes, so it's very very small. You nearly can't see this tool. For sure, we have also uh, finishing tools to make some slots also in hardened material. For sure, you can also use our high fit cutters to make some rugging operation also in the hardened material. And finally, we can also make the threads without drilling, with one tool. So we make a thread milling cutter where you are able to machine a 62 HRC material without pre-drilling. You can put directly the thread inside it. So, Gurin have got options for everything. And as you've just heard, an end mill, cutting, drilling and thread milling all in one go. Don't so forget our holders. Yes, oh, and this is, are these all Goering holders as well? Goering holders as well, yes, of course. So this has got the complete solution from Goering. So now we're on the drilling booth at AMB with Goering to see some of their drill solutions. So what sort of solutions have you got on show at Goering? Here we got a high performance uh, two fluted drill for steel machining. It's available in 3.5 and 7 times D. It's a very tough carbide grade, which enables us to run very high feeds and speeds in steel machining. So really, this can be used in any industry? Yes, of course. These are the two flute drills. We're going to move down now slightly, because they've actually got three flute drills on show as well. So what's the difference between a two flute drill and a three flute drill? Of course, we got one tooth more, so we can run higher feeds and speeds and still get a good quality in the bore. So we have a better roundness, better surface quality and still get the high feet. So with this sort of drill, you don't need to drill and ream. You can get the surface finish you need just off the drill. Now, do all these drills come with through coolant? Yes, of course. Um, it's through coolant and the special point geometry for the better centering um, and still the high feet and speeds. So with that, you, you'll get longer tool life as well out of the drill? Of course, we have one tooth more where we can split the wear on and get a good tool life and good position. Now, the booth next to it, you've got some really long looking drills. Yes. So what would they mainly be used for? Uh, these are used for cast iron machining, deep holes, big diameters, small diameters and very high feeds and speeds to get the best productivity out of the tool and still a good quality. 